Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah, and we've definitely seen a lot of interesting moments when it comes from actors from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, especially during this time where everyone's been at home. But one of the actors in the MCU, Sebastian Stan, has really gone above and beyond in making content on his various social media accounts. First, I want to give a huge shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, every single Monday we do a challenging Marvel trivia question. So if you guys want to participate, make sure you guys are subscribed here to Film Artsy. Head over to our community tab on Mondays and participate in our Marvel Monday question for a chance to have your comment featured right here on this channel. We also do DC Thursdays, if DC is more of your thing, and you can still participate by going over to our community tab on Thursdays. So make sure you guys participate if you want a chance of having your comment featured right here. So today we thought it'd be interesting to take a look at some of the best moments from Sebastian Stan from the past couple of months where he's kind of been forced to stay at home and some of these moments are really funny but real quick if you want more content like this on maybe a faster basis make sure you guys are following us on instagram there's a link in the description down below we post a ton of content over there okay let's go back to the video we have this clip where he talks about looking forward to 2021 which is pretty funny well might as well We also got to see Sebastian Stan give his friend a happy birthday message over to his friend Clark Duke, who's actually known for his role in Hot Tub Time Machine. Clark Duke, I decided to shoot in front of this glorious uh, Jack Nicholson poster I have in, in my house um, because there was one man that reminded me of Jack Nicholson, it would be you. Um, back in the day in Canada, when a couple of guys were just trying to be a couple of guys. Um, here we are, man. I just want to wish you happy birthday and congratulations on your new movie. And I hope you're um, happy and healthy and safe during this insane time. Then of course we have this great moment where we see Sebastian Stan trying to make his way through figuring out how to use Instagram Live. Trying to figure out Instagram Live, it's a disaster. Um, probably a good reason why I'm, I don't, I don't use Instagram Live. Now I'm watching the, the wheel go round. <sighs> what I, what I was saying. <clears throat> is this mo the movie is coming out this weekend and it's called Endings, Beginnings. Please see it. It's about... Then we've talked about this a little bit with the Falcon and Winter Soldier upcoming Disney Plus show that is going to be seeing some level of delays, maybe, or at least filming has been delayed because of everything that's been going on, even though they were pretty far into production when all of this stuff started happening. But we did get a little bit of an update coming from Sebastian Stan himself, talking about how he's been staying positive, and in the meantime, gave some of his thoughts on what it's like working from home. Why am I staying home? I'm staying home for Jimmy Hall. Uh, Joe Tan, Gary Haber, and Mark Schock who are first responders out there combating this crisis. I'm staying home for all the families and kids at the Ron McDonald New York house who are undergoing cancer treatments and can't stay at home. And for all the doctors and nurses who are out there sleeping in their cars and their garages, not able to hold their kids, see their families. Then we actually got to see Sebastian Stan read the children's book, I Love You to the Moon and Back, which actually mirrors another thing that his co-star Chris Evans did reading a children's book a couple of weeks back as well. I love you to the moon and back. I love our time together as we start our happy. I love our bad time silliness the way we splash and play. We'll climb the highest mountaintops, so hang on tight, you won't fall. <sighs> I love to share the magic. 
Then we see Sebastian Stan doing another Instagram live stream where he promotes another movie that he is set to star in called Endings Beginnings. And he did a little bit of a live interview, which was kind of cool. Here you go. Oh my God. Listen. I, I've never I'm, done this before. You gotta, you gotta be, you know, I'm sorry. It's the first time I'm uh, Instagram living with another person. What took you so long to Instagram live? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm really scared to Instagram live, period. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I've, I've never been interviewed on Instagram live, so I have no idea. So congratulations on your first Instagram live um, interview. Thank we you. Have a good, we have a very good reason to be talking. Your new movie, Endings, Beginnings, is yes. coming out. It's going to be available on digital at, I believe, midnight tonight, right? So people can download it and watch it at home in only a few hours. Then on the other hand, we have this question and answer with Sebastian Stan, where once again, he was talking about his upcoming movie that he's in. Uh, the writer director of Endings, Beginnings. Please welcome Sebastian Stan. Hello. How you doing? Thank you. Good. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Um, that might be a bit of a misnomer. I, I called Drake Dream as the writer director, but my understanding is Endings and Beginnings was, sorry, just Endings Beginnings, was primarily improvised. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, like 80% 80, 80 of it. And then we also got to see the cast and director of that film, Endings Beginnings, break down the movie and kind of talks about how Sebastian is quarantined alone in this time, which is no, kind of no, a unique it's, situation. It's interesting. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely uh, challenging, but I think it could be reflective too. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I go back and forth, you know? Now, it, it's, it's, this is important. FaceTime's important. That's for sure. It is. Um, actually, this is the only way I'm able to communicate. Listen, I love hanging out with my, my daughter's uh, 15 months and my wife, but uh, I need a an, uh, an outlet like, I was talking day. to a friend, I was like, because I'm alone, right? So so I'm like, um, I'm quarantining alone. So so I go, like, is it is it harder for me alone or or is it harder for for the you know, somebody <laughs> out there who's gotta share like the you know, suddenly twenty four seven you've got you've got a partner. Like I mean you always do, but you know, is that I, I yeah, can't we, tell we gotta remember like I agree. Know, our our our, our Grandparents and parents have survived way worse, and, sure. and we can do our part here. So. Totally, I totally, I totally agree with that. I, yeah. I, why is it that the other day there was a park in New York City where everyone it was beautiful out, everyone's laying out, and everyone's just like it's like it's a vacation. We're looking at the beaches down in Florida, and everyone's down there. Like I, I think coming out of this, people are definitely going to realize and start thinking differently from a quality of life standpoint. We've of course seen other clips of Sebastian Stan along the way, like we saw him early on when a lot of this stuff was going on, uploading various content like him washing his hands and singing songs. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Fucking everyone. Happy birthday to you. And it's even more interesting to see that just before all of this stuff happened way back in February, he was actually out and about hanging out with his co-star Anthony Mackie, who will also be in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, back when they were still filming, and it was cool to see these two together. But you guys are such an odd couple. Like, is this going more comedy? Are you guys still going to be, like, secretly wanting to punch very each other serious. out? It's very serious, very dramatic. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I feel good about that. Oh. No, friendly. No, friendly. 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 Like neighbors? Yeah. Like, cautious. If I cut my grass and he's out of town, I'd cut his grass. Why is it called Falcon and Winter Soldier instead of Captain America and Winter Soldier? You're Captain because America. I'm not Captain America. I'm still a Falcon. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, he's getting costume fitting, so there you well, go. I didn't say I had a Captain but America But that would be confusing fitting. to the movie anyway. When you watched Endgame, what were you surprised by? I was surprised Tom Holland was so good. So what do you guys think of Sebastian Stan? Do you think he's keeping it upbeat and positive during these times? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Yes. I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> hi. 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 <laughs>
Sí, guys.